Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I already made my tack haul video earlier today, so I'm making another. That's why I'm wearing the same outfit. Um, but I did put my braids up to little bun. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of a concho haul here. And I'm going to be making crystal conchos for a saddle that I'm making for myself. Um, these are my leather colors for my saddle. This is denim blue. It's a coach leather from actually the coach bags. And then this is a red brown texture. It looks a bit matte, and that's because it has that nice oily kind of grippy feel to it. I love this leather. Um, it's a beautiful red brown. And then I've got the Coach Blue to go with it. And we'll talk about that again later when I bring out all my jewels. So, oh, are the jewels. These are not all for the one project. I do have another project on the go, and I'll put a picture up when I'm talking about it. Um, these are square conchos that I got because I saw this breastplate with these feathers. I'll put a picture now. Um, and it was gorgeous. And I kind of like, I have to have it. Uh, so I'm going to be making that too in the future. And so there's that concho. I have two cameras filming. There we go. So that's the square concho for the breastplate which is not going to go with the saddle either. It's totally separate part. And then I have these flares that are pre-crystalled. Those are for the breastplate project. They go together. The next thing I got, because they were on super clearance, were these. I call them unicorn conchos because they're that iridescent multicolored sparkle. Um, oh well. So I got 10 of those for, they're not uh, for any particular project at this moment. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. The next thing I got was these buckles. They turned out to be way bigger than I thought they were going to be. Uh, this is supposed to be my buckles for my bridle to go with my saddle, which is kind of like a Western style trail saddle. Um, so they're quite big. I think I can still get away with it. I was gonna jewel them and uh, I can use them probably because I have fairly large horses. So <laughs> I guess we'll see. Next. These are the conchos we're going to be adding the crystals to. Um, I got octagonal conchos rather than the plain berry circles. I thought it would be cooler. <laughs> it's just a little different, subtly different. So that's the concho we'll be working with. Bring my leather colors back out. So these are the smallest of the jewels. They're kind of like a purple blue green shimmer um, secondly we got these ones which are more like a royal blue and then lastly we got these which are Caribbean blue and these are pretty much the whole reason why I decided to make my own crystal conchos because they had a set that had these two colors on them that I just wanted to buy but these two colors really pick up on the tones of this letter I felt so I had to go with that the saddle is kind of a peacock theme so that's why the purple iridescent and blues and green now I'm just going to clean the conchos, remove any residue, gunk, whatever. And again, you can see the grime. 
So it's very important to do this. To make sure your epoxy sticks because I want these to be jeweled forever. So, I guess for crystalline your jewels, you will need your conchos, your crystals, whatever color style you want. There's so many to pick from. Um, and some epoxy. This is the Gorilla 5 Minute Epoxy. Uh, some popsicle sticks to stir and smear the epoxy on the concho. Some cotton pads to clean your conchos, which we've already done. And then I got these, and these are called Hot FX Jewel Setter. They were a couple dollars. I got them on conchos.com with the conchos. Um, and the, just this end is designed to pick up the crystal so that you're not having to do like And then the tippy end is to kind of push the crystal around and reposition it so you don't have to get epoxy all over your hands. So I will now insert the picture of the concho that I wanted to buy and I didn't because I wanted these color crystals. The concho I wanted to buy had these too. So I purchased these two and then I purchased this one as extra again to match my saddle will be being done. First, get a couple more crystals out. The epoxy sets in five minutes, which a lot of people who actually do this concho stuff um, will do like all these in five minutes. But I'm new, so let's just all calm down. Oh yeah, that does work really well. Look at that. Got my little jewel. Oh, and it came with a little stick right in the box. Good job, Gorilla. And I had scissors handy, but you don't need scissors. This is just a twist off. Now I'm going to squeeze a little epoxy there until both sides come out. And then I'm going to start my little workstation here. I'm going to squeeze just a bit of both. Oh, make a giant mess. Okay, okay, all right. Here. Okay, now I'm going to mix. They say mix for about 30 seconds. Alright, our first victim. They say put it on like you're doing icing on a cake. Alright. Pretty happy with the start so far. Very good. We must continue working quickly. Okay, step two. Show you fast. Carry on. I think it looks quite magnificent. The epoxy is definitely set, um, or very close to setting, so I'm very glad that I did not do a bunch at once. So, now that you've watched me do one, I'm gonna turn the cameras off and I'm gonna do the others. And then we will talk again. So I did end up jeweling my buckles, as you can see here, and you saw in the intro, but I totally forgot to come back and talk to you guys and do an outro like a proper human. So I did finish my five conchos, that's how many I need for the saddle, and my two buckles for my bridle, which still may or may not work, we will have to see. I think they turned out great. Um, 
I know this wasn't like super instructional, but once you kind of clean off the concho and get them prepped, you can pretty much put the jewels wherever you want in any pattern you want, and you can order any color you want. Um, like I said again, I got everything off conchos.com. I'm not going to do individual links at this time because I don't have very many subscribers and it's a lot of work to do. I do hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you make any conchos, make sure you link them here or comment below. Thanks for stopping by guys. See you next time.